Welcome everyone to the King of the Palace, brought to you by the New Palace Lanes here in Fitchburg, Massachusetts. I'm your host, Steve Broncho. David, last week, first time on the King of the Palace, a tie. Steve, you're absolutely right. Reigning King, Steve Pizant, defeated Jim Mazzaferro in a two-box roll-off. Now he faces this week, Mike Kane, another veteran bowler and another newcomer to the King of the Palace. Let's get to the action. Up now, the reigning king of the palace, Steve Pazan, pulling out a Mohegan Bowl on Webster Mass with an average of a 116. Up first, the reigning king, Steve Pazan. Last week he went up against Jim Maz, and for the first time ever, we had a tie. Ended up going to two boxes, and Steve ended up taking it. Yes, the people out there viewing land, tie, very exciting. Pressure on both bowlers. The defending champ came through and opened. Oh my goodness! Ten, I thought that he had ten pin was rattling. A solid ten pin left up there. Thought he had it. Looked Once good, again, like you said, wasn't touched. Yeah, nothing came near it. <laughs> nothing came near it. It's gain up and bowling. Steve bowling out of uh, Bohegan Bowl in Webster, Mass. And there was another example. A piece of wood looked like it go right into the ten pin, and what happened? Spun Make right around it. Spun right around it. Yeah, absolutely fair. Steve's average is a 116. His high single is a 212. His high three, 460. And he's left at one of the six triangles. Just the triangle on the left, the two, the four, and the five. Piece of wood up against the five. Yep. Pick right. your poison to the left or the right of the two. Well, he, he went to the left. He just he had that too far left. There. Needed contact with the two. Unfortunately, he missed the very important two pins here, Dennis. Nothing wrong with really opening up with a 19 for two. Oh, yeah, he it it yeah. Ten. Good bowling. Up now, the number three seed, Mike Kane, bowling at a Metro Bowl in Peabody, Mass, with an average of a 116. Mike Kane. Yeah. Veteran Candlepin bowler up out of uh, what, the North Shore area? Bowling out of Metro. PBD Mass. Mike actually bowls in the Friday Night Pro League. Yep, this is his first appearance. First appearance and make qualifying. He's on TV. He's on King of the Palace. Yep, he's been bowling um, 50 years. His high singles are 178. His high three is 442. And Mike looked look like a lot of bowlers, like single pin spare is his favorite shot. And he hates the, the two, four, seven, ten split, which and is his least favorite. The one, three, five, six, eight, and nine. <laughs> okay. That's almost every pin on the deck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no. Disappointing half horse to left. You don't want that. Well, you got to come back then. You got to throw the strike ball to make the spin. Yeah, there's always, you know, a couple boxes to settle down. Oh, he almost the, had it. That rattles man. on him as well. I bowled against Mike in the Friday Night Pro League a couple of years, and he actually subbed for me a couple of times. And great guy, you know, very positive attitude. So I, I know he's just, you know, trying to get the jitters out, and he'll, he'll come back. Oh, there's no, the, there's no doubt that. That's the, one way to run the rail, picking up that tent. Yeah. There's no doubt that the lights, the cameras, and everything, it, the pressure's there. you got to get rid of it. Okay, the defending champ, here he goes. Off to the left. Off to the left again. He just can't find it then. Steve's having the lefties. He's right, the one so five ten. This is very difficult too. Yeah, that sleeper's usually um, the last one to draw. This is very, very difficult. You can pick up the 110, but... Right by it. Or you can just throw it to the right. Well, here again, Candlepin and Bowl. We've had five open boxes now. The string before this. Last week, guys, we had we opened up with four, four marks. You never know. You just don't know. Throw the ball, see what happens. Exactly. Hope for the best. Comes it's Candlepin and Bowling. That's yep. it. You don't know. Well, the only thing he's got to do is get the head pin. And let's see what happens. Nope, right, oh, right. to the right. Oh. A half whistle plus the nine. 
plus the five, rather, excuse me. Half Worcester, actually. Probably minus Sterling. What was that? Half Worcester minus Sterling. Oh, okay. Now he leaves the high-low okay. jack. Oh. Yeah, got to get two out of three. Hope for two out of three. Yeah, you definitely got to stop pinning when there's no marks. It's yeah. going to be a long night of bowling if these guys don't start marking. Oh, wow. Okay. Got the, the two out of three. Not oh. the two you thought, but it's still two. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. If Mike Kane can deliver here, find his spots. Veteran Candleton Bowl delivers from the right side. Three-step approach. Big wind up, wide right. right. Leaves the four horsemen. And he's left the four horsemen left. No wood. Got to show, show everybody a shot. Got to split them. Run the ladder. Run the ladder. Well, no, he, well, I don't know if right. he tried to do that by design to do the domino effect. This is odd having uh, two veteran Kenlipin bowlers actually not throwing Wow, well, no box. First, uh, seven boxes. They got to drop sooner or later. Well, they got them. Box to box, it's even after three, that's 27 each. Both 116 Kenlipin bowling averages. Yeah, they're bowling scratch. They got it. It's got to come down. Let's see what that quarter shot. And look at this mess. Come on. Wow. There is a lot of junk on that deck, leaving the seven, eight, and the ten. Oh, triple this, wood. Oof. Spray and pray. <laughs> That's all you can do. And uh, I think you forgot the praying part. Uh, all around that apron. Just didn't drop. I think Steve was kind of thinking his lucky stars that he actually missed that one. Uh. Okay, Dennis, after four. After four, it's tied at 36 each. Yeah, this is uh, this, not, this, this is this compelling uh, Kenlipin bowling right here. It's close, but we haven't got a mark yet. Nope. This is where, you know, if you're having a hard time dropping a mark, this is pinning. Well, he's wide, well, but look at this. He still has the lefts. Wide left again to a terrible look first ball. Well, ball that obviously didn't want to throw, but he's left a very favorable two-pin span. One, three. The one, three. The whole bunch go, of wood after the three. Go right out, see what happens. Oh, yeah. Finally. There we go. No, 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 Finally, no. we're off the schneid. The fifth box, he de delivers the spare. He's up onto lane number six. Excuse me, lane number four, box number six. Let's see what happens. He wants the 8, 9, a 10 for some momentum, and found the head pin, he's dropped 7, and he's left one of the 6 triangles. 2, 4, 5. This is the second time we've seen this time. Yeah. Where are you going here, guys? To the right or the left of it, Dennis? What do you think? To the right. Yeah, it's I all, think all preference. All preference on this one. This yeah. is the second time Steve had this shot, and uh, the second time, it. first time he went to the left. He knew, as soon as he left the hand. Picked up the four, this time he goes to the right and picks up the five. Uh, looking up at the ceiling, looking up at the bowling guards. Why did I do what I did? Oh, now, now Dennis here wants Same to get result. the theory. Dead on into the pin, and what happened? He pushed, did what? He pushed, pushed it right back. Yeah, pushed it right back, two full. Well, let's see if Mike Kane can't answer well, uh, Steve's it. mark. Well, you he's into his fifth box. Mike's no stranger right. to throw him marks either. And he's left the four. Oh, no, 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 no. Dennis and I have both been on the receiving end of his, uh, his marks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, he can toss some strings, let me tell you. Another four horsemen leave left. Well, he's got to wait for no, that with the. You know, if you're uh, looking into the crowd and watching the people, you know, there's only uh, one person that's missing off of our Friday night. Oh, nice pickup. Nice pickup. Nice pick he split him. He made it. He wanted it. And he got it. I hope that's the momentum builder, guys. Now he wants the big fill. He's got a match of seven. Steve Pazant. Oh, yeah. A little more extra time here, guys. Oh, 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 Ugly leave. This is very difficult, too. One, three, eight, and nine. Off to the right. Looks like that one got away from him right out of the get-go. David, would you call this, consider this shot to be an aces and eight? Uh, no. No, if they're not parallel, don't they? Okay. Nice. Oh, oh what a ten. nice ten. Whoa, that was pretty. De Dennis, after six? After six, again, we're still tied. Yeah. 62 each. It's well, unbelievable. One knock a piece for each ball of two socks. Like you were saying, there's only one person missing off of our uh, Friday Night Pro team, huh? Yep. Yeah, we have... Uh, Rich Kochi uh, in the crowd, and, and Mike Spino in the crowd, and Dennis behind the mic, and myself behind the mic, and the only one that's working is uh, counting fruit. It's Doug. At Shaw's. Going after the free pass. Wow. He, oh, <laughs> goodness gracious. 
Padre oh, missed that. Oh, somebody better be calling 911 on that one. Wow, that was a pinball shot. Oh, only in candle pinball. I think somebody only forgot to juice pinball. the lanes up a little bit on that one. <laughs> Where else does that happen, people? I, 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 I don't know what to say. Hits the cap of the wood, the piece of wood goes everywhere and doesn't hit the pin. Well, at least you know there's some good sidewalls down there. Yeah. Oh, he came back with a nice oh, Now look at this. Wow. Oh, okay. He needed to tend the fall. Okay. He's got one left pin up. One less pin up for the Four, this seven, and eight. This is his, <coughs> this is his uh, third triangle. Well, Only it's one, his third time in the charm. One out of the six possibilities of the three pin triangle. First Let's see left, what happens. Second time right. Gonna go right at And, oh, and he, he thought hit he his had object it. pin. Wait a minute. Uh, uh, he's just beside himself. It's candle pin bowling. What can you do? You can appeal to the bowling gods. You can do anything you want to do. But Dennis, they don't answer. Don't yep. answer. <laughs> I it, tried. It, it, it just, there's just, well, it's, I'm not going to get into it. A though. lot of times when you uh, appeal to the bowling gods, they leave you up with the finger of God. This was, I, I agree with it, Steve Pazant, the defending champion. He's it's laboring. Tough. It's tough. Steve, He's, 81 uh, after eight. eight. One mark out of eight boxes for the defending. But then again, Mike Kane up on the alley. Three. He's only got one. He found the head pin. He's drawn. Well, now he has a triangle on the other side. Six, what are we triangle happy today, people? Six, nine, ten. Look at this. Another version of the one of the six triangles. Hit that wood. Should take it. Yeah, and he picks nice it up. Nice shot. That. Okay. Here's the big ball. Here it is. Box number eight. This is. This actually might give um, Mike the first lead of the day. <clears throat> box number eight. Lane number four. Got to fill the spare. He wants the 7-8. Excuse me, the 8-9 and 10. Let's see what happens. Nice ball. Found the head. Oh, the there, it there it is. There it is. I think the jitters are gone now, guys. Three out of four boxes. It He's just, got the mark. It just takes one to start. After think, eight, it's Steve Pizan at 81. Mike Kane at 92 working on a strike. Right. He needed all oh, nice confidence builder. Back-to-back Max puts the pressure on. The reigning king's got some work to do. <clears throat> And he drops nine in the least as the three. Yep, well, let's see if he can. Well, let's uh, hope he nails it this time. Well, Last hey, he's nine. got that piece of wood off to the right of the three pin. Let's see if he can't ride that in. Oh, That's he needs very it. frustrating when you're hitting a pocket and solid and, you know, you know, it's not throwing a strike or you're just getting split after split. It starts getting to you after Oh, oh he it doesn't need one. it. All oh, over, like, my right on goodness. rice. That was dead eye right on. Okay. Very nice way to fill with the foundation out. box, the ninth box, to fill it with a spear. Got the momentum. He wants the eight, the nine, well, or the he's ten. He's got to answer Mike's strike right yeah. here. This is the big ball. Oh, wow. look at this. This is the aces and eights This right is the aces and the ace. Oh, what a disappointing ball. What a disappointing feel on that ball. Oh, Mike. How does it happen, Dennis? Throws the ball 60 feet. I know I say it time and time again. Oh, oh. what a bit. Split the two, and the two just went on the back. My goodness. The trick is now you just got to clear your mind. Yep. For the next oh, what else can you do? You got to keep on throwing. That's all. Yeah. Yep. We've, One, uh, uh, we've seen Steve stone some monster strings in this King of the Palace tournament. Well, the champ's got to come through. Very right. rare that you ever see Steve Pazan throw a 106. Oh, no, he's shaking his head. He threw his towel down. That last ball. Was I, think that was, I think that was Steve's last golf score. Oh, uh, he won. Okay, he wants the double. Oh, almost delivered the double. He's left the... What do we got, Dennis? The six, six pin. The six pin, some wood. I, I, he, the first piece of wood could act as a nice guide, I think. Yeah, and no, he was all right over it. it. All over it. Yep. Three marks in a row, Dennis, is what? An eagle. No, no turkey. turkey. He's going for the eagle. You get the terminology down straight sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I got you. I got I'll you. work on you. Okay, he's really coming through right now. Oh, oh, no, just as I speak. Once that, again, yeah, he throws once a weak again. ball, but he's left. The, oh, no, there's still fun. What's going on here? Uh, the sun kisses. The Florida orange juice at its best. Gets the... Oh, yes, oh, yeah. Yeah, there it is. What's four marks in a row, Dennis? You got to wipe eagle. your feet on that one. Four marks in a row, can open ball, and is an eagle. Any combination Working of fours, spears, and strikes. What a beautiful wow. second half. Steve better step up to the plate and start throwing. Otherwise now, Dennis, if he gets a quick. strike here, it'd be five marks in a row, which in Candlepin Poland is a bad. It's only a ten. Oh. And he hits up to seven. Oh, we, that one slipped a little. All right. 131. 
Excellent can open bowling. Wow, Mike opened up a can on Steve at the last half. After one, Steve was on at 106. Mike Kane at 131. 25 pin lead. Steve's got to step it up this next string. He's down by a lot. Yeah, uh, the reigning king may be uh, definitely playing golf if he doesn't uh, step up to the plate. Well, Mike Kane found the guys. Five out of six boxes he marked. He found it. A little wide right there, leaving the four horsemen left with the 10. This is going to be difficult. Yeah, this uh, wood's not favorable. Yeah. Tough shot. Very, very Try difficult. to run the ladder and see if you can't push that one to the 10. Oh, almost. Left the 10. Once again, the 10 pin all by itself in candle pin bowling, better known as the corner of the bowling shot. Let's see if we can pull it off. Okay. Runs, the, runs the rail. Okay, box number two, lane number four. And as always, we encourage everyone to leave comments on the YouTube page, Facebook well, page. Absolutely. We do read them all. I check every every day or every other day, see if there's any new ones out there, and we try yeah. to do what we can to make the show everything And then Dennis texts me and said, did you see what they said? <laughs> Oh, look at this ugly look at leave. The back fence post. The picket, uh, David? Seven, eight, nine, and ten. The picket fence or the fence? Picket fence. Picket fence. Where's he going? Left side? High wood. Yeah, you got you to get yeah. that wood spraying The around. left side, wood, right side. Kicking wood. around. Yeah. Oh. Seven, ten. Seven, With, uh, ten piece of wood. Two and a half pieces of wood in the channel. And Seven, ten, and candle pin bowling, better known as the railroad split, and one right between. Probably that's why they call it that. If you don't know which way to go, can you make your mind up, seven or ten, throw it right down the middle, safe bet. Had four, four back pins up with a mess of wood, spray and pray, what happens? Takes out the middle, too. Up, huh? Steve, raining king. Oh, he's got to turn a lot it of work on to now. Do. He's got a lot of work. work. Well, he's got to get the mark here, guys. Looks to me like he splits the one and the two, the dead wood should go up, into and take out the seven. The dead would have probably bounced off the wall and take the seven pin out. He needs to shot. Wide no, right. Off right. to the left. Wide left, rather, excuse me. The ball's still working. He's got the lefties. Probably he wanted to open up with a mark, but it just wasn't there. That happens. Picks up the 10. Once again, on the third ball. Why on the third ball? Okay. There's no pressure on this yeah. third ball. Oh, Steve Alley, four. Start knocking the sleeve oh, down a little bit. He's up against an eight bar, so a mark here would be huge. Oh, look at this. Wow. A spread eagle minus one. Oh, my good. Someone mentioned on the YouTube page that you should call this the clipped eagle. No, no. Clipped wing spread eagle is the, when you get a spread eagle minus the seven and the ten. This is this this lead here can oh, pin bowling is nice known bit. as the, is known as the big five, where you have three on one side and two on the other. Either direction, either left or right. That's called the that's called the uh, the big five. Now, he nine drop. Right. Right, he gained a pin. I don't you know, that's a good question, Dennis. Now my recollect my memory, I don't think we've had a clip wing spray here. Either. Haven't seen it. That would be leaving the two, three, four, six. Okay, let's see what happens. So Mike Kane on the hole. And Off to the left. left. And he's left an ugly mess. Yeah, see what happens. Got to split the head pin, see what happens. Oh, what a nice shot. shot. Didn't split it, went to the left, drilled it, came out of it with a mark. Excellent can up and shot. Whatever works. <laughs> Whatever works is correct. <laughs> Oh, does he want the big fill now to really put the pressure on? Yeah, he's just stepping he, on Steve's neck right now. Oh, he found it. Oh, now look at this. Look at this ungodly mess. The <laughs> six, seven, and eight with a perfect one, three pocket, which you, you would think would have been a perfect pocket ball. It gets frustrating, trust me. Well, how does it happen? Angle of deflection is all I can come up with. <laughs> well, oh, what a he, bid. He what tried a bid, to yeah. slice and dice on that one. Oh, I don't understand. And we wonder why we all get frustrated. But we oh. keep coming back for more. Well, you know what, though? I can't get frustrated because I'm behind the camera. But I'm pretty sure I would be frustrated if I was up there. Well, Steve Passant's got to get a double knock here, no doubt about it. Well, he needs to do a lot of work. That's what he needs to do. Box to box, he's down 24. Yeah. The reigning champ is... He's got it to look oh, oh, no. Half oh, push to left. Bounced it. And he's up against a spare seven right now, so he definitely needs uh, to I think something. Steve, I think Steve is pressing a little bit too much. Yeah, yeah. a little weak. Try to do maybe overthrow there. Well, that's what we stated last week. You know, 
when you go into the second string down big, you start pressing too much. And you, oh, oh, pretty wow. when it goes and it's staying up. Just the kingpin left. That's it. A couple of jokers on the deck with him. Oh, he won that way. Yeah. Yeah, I want to thank you all out there who will watch the show on Local Access TV and on YouTube. We sincerely appreciate it, as David says, and Dennis. We appreciate all your comments. You know, you help us all grow and helping the show grow and making it a better better show. Anything to enhance the candle pin bowling. Okay, guys, we've left the, the two and the seven pin, better known as candle pin bowling as the baby split. Where's he going with this one? Dennis? Front it. board? Red line. Red line. It. It's the only piece of wood that he can see. Yeah. Well, De David, I met which oh, side of the nice. I met which side of the dead wood. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay, he made the baby split. Difficult to be a lot easier, obviously. With Steve's got his first board. mark of the day. After four, it's Steve Azan at 38 plus a ball and Mike Kane at 44. Excuse me, first mark of the string. Now, Mike Kane taking a little extra time here to line it up. And then look at this. And he's left an ugly hey, two pin up. Mike almost has the, uh, the Steve Braunschweig kick down. No, no, that'll never be bad. I've got that bad. I don't want to live a second there. Oh, oh, he sliced tried it. To, he almost made it. Wow. Tried to sweep the leg, Johnny. Too thin. Almost. Almost. Nice piece of frozen wood there, or non wood as we call it. Gets the 10 box, going over wing number six. Box, excuse me, lane number four, box number six. Let's see what happens. Nope. Off to the left. Off See that was, saw that one as soon as it left his hand. Left an ugly five pin lead, the one, three, five, eight, nine, some wood there. I have no idea if the wood's gonna help or hurt, David. Dennis? Oh, it's a tough angle. Yeah. Who knows? Tough to judge. Hit the head pin, see what happens. Exactly. Oh, yeah. oh. Left Almost. three pin. Well, it opens the door for the defending champ. Two open box, well actually three open boxes in a row. Steve Pizant gets a couple of marks here with a couple of good fills. Puts the pressure back on after six. Quick, Dennis. Mike is at 63. Okay, here's the champ. Steve, guys. Steve has a lot of work to do right now. Guys, he's the defending champ. He's the king of the palace. If he wants to keep the crown, here it is. That, that found it. Oh, he, oh, they're falling. Okay. This is this is uh, going to be one of those shots where you're going to have to hit that piece of wood, and I would probably take a little bit off of it. And you want to hit it low. You want a little more, a little more accuracy than speed. Yeah, just push it back. There you oh, go. oh there you go. Played it smart. Nice he delivery. Learned, he, he learned from last week missing a single pin spare with all that wood. Last week he threw it off to the left. This time he he uh, tagged it just right. There it is. Oh, he's closing the gap. Viewers, here it is. He's got a lot Let's more work to do to close the gap. Oh, oh no, 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 no. That I, is disgusting. I, 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 I can't comment. Ouch. That is disgusting. <laughs> all I've got to say is one thing. Mulligan. How does that happen? Right. How can you possibly take one pin out of ten? I thought he was going to say mulligan. <laughs> oh, I get into that. <laughs> Let me get a break. Uh, oh, you talk about disappointment. Oh, but it wasn't even a half twist. No. The three pin. Yeah. Takes a one pin on a beautiful spare. Oh. Nice ten out of that. After six, Steve is on 68. Mike Cannon at 63. Mike Cannon is holding on to a 20 pin lead box to box. Yeah. Well, Dennis, you brought up this thing about a mulligan. See, I, I've always <laughs> oh, said no. <laughs> I, I, I've wanted to write a letter to the gods of Candlepin rules makers. And if you throw a spread eagle, you're allowed to rethrow the box and Candlepin bowling and make bowling. Of course, everyone thinks to me. Mike off to the left. I I've actually talked to a few people about that. One and they agreed with me. They Quite the opposite. Right. Oh. <laughs> they think you should be committed. <laughs> I know. How do I come up with these things? I, I, I think you lie awake at night. I do. No, I can't sleep. I, uh, what better things to think about if you can't try to fall asleep? Can't yeah, ball. Again, we invite everyone to come down <laughs> to bowl in the tournament, you yep. know, or even just come down and watch. We, we love having audience members. You know, and, uh, hang out, and, and you know, it doesn't matter where you're bowling, where you're from, what your average is. Man, anybody you know. can come down. Doesn't matter. Mike Kane, he qualified first time ever in the show. Oh. oh, no, no, no. What is going on here in this bowling house? Now, he not only leaves the spread eagle, he leaves the spread eagle and a friend, Dennis. Friend. That's the ugly.
Ugly stepchild. Oh, nice bid on it. Look at this. Look at this. Is it going to rock and roll? If yep. he comes out of this one at 10, that's excellent. Can't open that. No doubt about it. Yep. The reverse, half a missed up. And oh, he made it. 10. <laughs> nice 10 bucks. But he's left the opening for the defending champ. Wide open. Yeah, well, let's see if Steve can answer the bell. He's down 20. He's up against the 7 bucks and the 10. It it's not impossible. Done. It can be done. Yep. He's got to get the head pin. He did. He got the head oh, pin, but he left the aces this. and eights leave. Look at this. This might look, not be Steve. What today. is going on? First, we get the three pin shot out. Then we get a. Oh, God. Oh, no wonder the bullets are frustrated. I can't say that I blame him. Oh, Steve. Oh. No, no, he's got four pins up. Yeah, he drove the laughing. three. He how does it? How does that? He can't believe what's going on. Oh, I don't blame him. This is Candlepin bowling at its worst. No, I, I, I shouldn't say it that way. The, Somebody the should place. write a stern letter to the owner. No, I, I said that a couple of weeks ago, David. When I out of eight bucks and hit five spread eagles. Yeah, and what happened? You found I your balls. You, you found your bowling balls on the side of the street. I right? went absolutely nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Heading for the shot. And the next week, I didn't get one. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, Big break this. there. Big break, right? All right, what? this is a huge break. Yeah. A lot easier shooting. Yeah, but you know what? This would have just got a little, a little bit, bit uglier. Yeah, right he's got to contact the front wood, I think. He's going to have to go wood. way left on that piece of front yeah. wood. Yeah. Oh, well, that happens. How did that happen? Because he went a little bit too full. This door is closing pretty quickly yeah. on Steve. That was the big box. Well, he's got right. two more, to, and hopefully Mike doesn't do anything. Mike doesn't do anything. He may leave the door open for Steve. Okay, David. We'll get Dennis, what do we got after eight? After eight, it's Steve Fazan at 87, Mike Kane at 80, and Mike Kane is holding on to an 18 pin lead going into the last two boxes. Well, if he gets one mark with a decent fill, of course, is that champ to get a double strike minimum. Oh. Well, now he's left the two pin in the right corner. He's left the, the six and the ten for a spare. Not as easy as it appears. And oh, nice pick up. Up. oh nice yeah. ball. That might have sealed Steve's fate. Well, that forces Steve Passant to get at least a double stroke. Looks like Steve might have to be uh, dusting off his golf clubs. Well, he threw three beautiful balls. Yep. So we did mention that our pro team is mostly here, and Steve Passant is actually a sub on yep. that pro team. Just had one to give him his, his due. Yeah, he is. He's done. He did pretty well for us. As Mike throws a five fill on his spear. You know, I, I want to try to appeal to the, the bowling gods and uh, or the bowling's powers that be to see if I can't put a team in for Worlds. I'm gonna work on. I'm gonna work feverishly on that so I can get like uh, all the past King of the Palace winners on one team. I think. Boy, I think if you guys do come down and just watch it, that uh, Travis should come down and tape it. Yeah, that, could, it. that could very well. When does it begin, Dennis? November. November 11th. Mm -hmm. Academy Lanes, Havel, Mass. It's oh, yeah. a, a tremendous spectacle to come down and witness. Well, I'll mark that down on the calendar. We'll refresh everybody's mind every week. Okay, the champ, uh, wide left. Champ he's has looked, a lot of work to do. He's up uh, against a spare five, and he's already down 18. Left to Caleri. Yeah, yeah, he's disappointed. Well, it happens, guys. He's the defending champ. Just, oh. I think what did him really did a second was dropping that one on the spare when he got two. Two in a row. Really, really. What really did the psyche is uh, the warmer weather's coming. He's thinking about playing golf. No, I don't think so. I think he's chopping nice out. Nice out. Nice 10. What? Chopping well, he out has one, one shot. He's down that, 23 pins against a nine. That one he's, shot is he's going to have to need to triple out. He no. needs a double three. Double strike three. He's going to have to throw some big bombs right now. No, he can't. The most he can get is 13. He's down to. Oh, I'm sorry. He's down 32. Yeah, he's so done. No, he's. Yeah, he's he's he, actually he's lost. Done. Yeah, he's lost. Yeah. Yeah. Even a triple one would do it. Yeah, a triple will lose by three. Lose by two, sorry. The reigning king has been defeated, so that yeah. means yeah. at the end of this tournament there will be a new, new king. Yeah, but somebody else will be walking up and down River Street, Claycon Street, Kimball Street. Daniel Street. Daniel Street. Electric Ave, South Street. There'll be the new reigning king of the palace champ. At the end of the string, it's Steve Pazan at 105, Mike Kane at 104. And the, and the winner? The winner is Mike Kane with a score of 235 to Steve Pazan's 211. Newcomer, newcomer to yeah. the king of the palace. It just Mike goes Kane, and he comes up and he defeats the king. This goes to show you, viewers, anybody who shows up has a chance. Yeah. Yeah. Mike yeah. Kane had six spares, one strike. Steve Pazan had four spares.
Next week in the King of the Palace, number three seed Mike Kane faces a newcomer in Stan Parker, the number two seed.